Hello everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you a really cool feature of Leonardo AI called Image Prompt. If you don't have a Leonardo AI account yet, you might need to get on the waitlist first. Make sure to come to my playlist called Leonardo AI where I have showed you how to set up your account and also a bunch of different cool things that you can do with it. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, I recommend you go to my playlist section to find the playlists that are relevant to you. All right, let's get started. Let me give you an overview of what Image Prompt is to see if this is something that would be useful to you. So normally when you start with generating an image, you start with a prompt something like this. Photograph of a beautiful woman in a black dress. Now maybe you want to have her holding a flower. But maybe you want her to be holding that flower in a specific style on her right hand covering half her face. So that's a bit complicated, right? And that can generate weird images sometimes. So instead of that, you can actually remove this part and try to provide it an image, something like this, where we have a woman holding a flower in the right hand covering half her face. Now this would give Leonardo AI a better idea of what kind of image to produce. This is similar to the image to pose feature that Leonardo AI has. And if you haven't seen my video about that here, Come to this video where I show you how to generate an image according to a specific pose. One thing to mention here is if you use this feature, you're going to have 2x the token cost. What that means is it's going to cost you twice the normal amount. All right, let's try out this prompt without the image prompt first to see what happens. I have some prompt exclusions in place. These are negative prompts which will remove or try to remove these things from the image like extra face, mutated face, extra neck, extra arms, things like that. So I'm going to generate a photograph of a beautiful woman in a black dress and I'm going to do four generations. All right, I have four images of a beautiful woman in a black dress. There's some issues with the face here. Like I said that the negative prompt doesn't really work all the time. All right, now I'm going to do the same generation, but instead of providing any more information here in the main prompt, I'm going to upload an image, a woman holding a sunflower. Now I have this uploaded image of a woman with a sunflower and no other information aside from that. I'm going to keep the image weight all the way to 0.65. So it's going to try to replicate that image as much as it can. All right, I think it's getting the idea, but it's not there all the way. So we have this picture with a big sunflower covering some of her face, but she's not really holding it. In this one, she is holding a flower, but it's not actually covering most of her face, nor can we see her entire face. All right, this variation puts all the flowers behind her and gets her to wear a dress, which is not exactly black, but it has some black in it and also some sunflowers. All right, now let me try something else. How about instead of just putting one picture, maybe I want to provide two pictures of a woman holding a sunflower in her right hand. So you see how the image prompt section actually allows you to add multiple images of what you want to tell Leonardo AI to do. So this time I'm going to do the same generation but with two pictures of a woman holding a sunflower in her right hand. All right, I don't think it got there all the way, but there's a lot more yellow in these pictures. I want to do another generation. All right, I think I have one image which is sort of close. There's a lot of issues here. Let me point out the issues. First, as you see, there's issues with her hand, her fingers, uh, and that is, I think, more to do with the stable diffusion model that I'm using. But she is holding a sunflower and it is on the right side of her face, which is correct, but she's holding it with the wrong hand. I expected her to be holding with her right hand, but it's getting closer and closer. Now let me try something different. Let me try to move the creativity scale. So if I move it less, it's going to be less creative. That means it's going to try to replicate the image more and more. But if I make it like all the way here, that means it's going to be a lot more creative with how it uses the flower in the picture or the dress or something else in the picture. And I don't really know, so let's try it out. And this time, let me change the model to Leonardo Creative. All right, the images are definitely getting better. And since the creativity scale is pretty high, I think I was able to produce a pretty nice image of a woman in a black dress with her holding a sunflower as well as being surrounded by sunflowers. So I'm gonna upscale this one 
you see how the image improved so much more you can see her eyes more clearly and I think her fingers improved and the image overall got way better so I'm gonna download this one all right now let me give Leonardo AI a challenge I'm gonna provide this picture to the image prompt where I want it to give me the woman wearing a hat she's also holding flowers but the flowers are red and there's some red flowers in the background as well and she also has her eyes closed so there's a lot of things happening in this picture I want to see how Leonardo reacts when I provide that as my third image All right now I have provided three images two of them are women holding a sunflower and one of them is a woman wearing a hat and holding some red flowers so there's a lot of information here to work with I'm gonna keep the creativity scale pretty high because I think it's giving me some better and cooler pictures let me also try changing the number of images to 8 and click generate Wow I think this has produced the most unique set of images and let me go over why they're unique I have three image prompts I have a high creativity scale and I have provided eight images so this one is the woman wearing a black dress surrounded by sunflowers this one has her surrounded by sunflowers in the background but there's a red flower suddenly pop up in her hair because I provided that third picture this one is a yellow background with her holding a red flower this is another blend of her with some flowers which are both yellow and red at the same time of these I think I like this one the best so I'm gonna upscale this one so the only thing that's missing from all eight pictures is that hat I requested see she was wearing a hat but this picture did not seem to give her enough information to add a hat so for the last experiment let me see if the order of the pictures changes that and this time I'm gonna do four pictures and start with a picture of her wearing a hat and holding some flowers second picture of her just with a hat so I want to tell Leonardo AI that I really want this hat and then I'm gonna add my first sunflower picture and my second sunflower picture so I have this test set up with four images where I really want to emphasize that hat and I also want those sunflowers. I'm gonna keep the creativity scale pretty high, also generating eight images again. This is gonna use 12 tokens, so definitely expensive. Click generate. All right, I got some beautiful images, but it seems to be struggling to understand this picture with the hat. Maybe the brightness is not strong enough. Let me just keep it the first two and see if it understands that I really want that hat. All right, I finally have some images of that woman wearing a black dress and a hat. There's no sunflower this time because I removed both of those images with the sunflower and I can add one of those back and try again. But I think you got the idea of what to do and how to edit your pictures around to get what you need from your prompt. But remember, if you keep your creativity scale really high like this, you might even get something like a dog, which was mentioned nowhere. I think from these pictures I like this one the most and maybe I'll download this one and try to reuse that as an image prompt. Alright, there we have it. This is how you can use image prompts to try out different things with the pictures, what editing those image prompts can do to your pictures. If you add too many pictures, sometimes it can get confused and ignore a couple of those pictures like you saw. But overall, I think this is a really cool functionality where you can create realistic images like these using image prompts and i hope you got some value from this video if you did enjoy this video please click the like button and subscribe to my channel i have a lot more videos coming up till the next one thank you so much